In this beginner tutorial, I will show you how to make this exact render in less than 8 minutes. Ok, so let's start off by pressing X to delete and then Shift A and add a cylinder. Then press S, then set to scale it on the set axis. And I press tab for edit mode. Then select the top face. And hold in shift and select the other face. And let's set the increase value to 1 so that these faces can stay flat while the rest of the object is subdivided. And then we can add a bevel modifier as well to make the edges a bit smoother. And then a subdivision surface modifier. And then we can save before we continue. And we're going to make the lollipop even smoother later on after we have added the materials. Okay, and then next we can add a background image. You can find a bunch of free background images in the link in the description. And then we can go into render view. As you can see, we now have the background image. And then we can use cycles. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just use the CPU. And then we can make the background transparent so that we get the light of the background image but we can't actually see it in the render. And then we can add a sun as well. Okay, and then we can set up the materials for the lollipop. So go into the shader editor, press N to hide the side panel, and then press Shift A. We're going to start off with a gradient texture. And let's set it to radial. And this node is important for creating the spiral pattern. And press Shift A. Next, we're going to add a color ramp to control this pattern. And in order to center the pattern around the middle of the cylinder, we're going to add a mapping node and then connect vector to vector. And then add a texture coordinate node and then connect object to vector like this, and then let's set it to constant. That way we remove any transitions between the colors. Okay, and then next we're going to press Ctrl Shift S and create a new save in case something crashes. And then let's give the black part a bit more of a candy-like color. So uh, pink for example. And then next we need to add some additional nodes to uh, add the actual spiral pattern. So let's start off with a math node and then set it to fraction. And by combining it with another math node, we can add additional cuts and then set this one to multiply. And this one is going to control the number of cuts. And in order to get more cuts, we of course need to increase the multiplication value. Okay, so let's set it to 15. And then we can save before we continue. And then in order to give these cuts a spiral pattern, we need to uh, copy the mapping and gradient texture by pressing Shift D. And then set this one to spherical. And then next, we need a combine X, Y, Z node in order to isolate the spiral effect to one axis, which in this case is the Z axis. And then press Ctrl A to apply the scale. And then in order to control the strength of the spiraling effects, we can add a math node and then set it to multiply. And then the value will control the rotation of the spiraling. And then we can decrease the roughness to make it a bit more glossy and candy-like. And then press Shift A. And let's add another cylinder to create a stick. And then press R, Y, the 90, tab for edit mode, hold in Shift to select multiple faces, press N, and then set the increase value to 1 once again. So that when we add the subdivision surface modifier, these two faces are going to stay flat while the rest of the faces become smoother. Then press S to scale it down, and then S, then X to scale it on the X axis, and then G, then X to grab it on the X axis. The length and size of the stick is of course up to you, so just uh, choose whatever you 
if you like and then we can add a bevel modifier as well to add some smoothness to the stick and then press Control a and apply all transforms and then let's decrease the amount and then add some extra segments to make it smoother and i think that looks okay and then we can add a material for the stick as well and then let's add a plane so press shift a and then s to scale up the plane and then g then set to grab it on the set axis and then let's give the plane a material let's make it glossy and dark now if you want your lollipop to look a bit smoother you can always increase the offset amount in the bevel modifier okay and then we can decrease the roughness for the stick as well then hold in shift and select the lollipop then the stick and press ctrl p and set it parent to the stick and then select the stick and go into edit mode then select the bottom face of the stick then press shift s and set cursor to selected so that when we uh, go back into object mode and set the pivot point to the 3d cursor and press shift d to duplicate we can now rotate it around that 3d cursor so r then set and then press g then set to grab it on the set axis and then once again press shift d r then set and then we can change the colors by copying the material and changing this color so uh, let's set it to blue for example and then we can select the other lollipop copy the material and make it red for example okay so now we have some nice looking lollipops and the next step will be to set up the camera so press Control alt numpad 0 to set the camera to the current point of view and then you can also lock the camera to view so that the camera follows your point of view so i think that looks nice for a render and then I'm going to increase the resolution. If you want 4K, you can set it to 200%. And then go to render and then render image. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and more Blender tutorials coming very soon.